Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on the first issue of Nightwing from the New 52. Now as you know, yeah, much like the Batman comics and Green Lantern was part of the whole New 52 thing. Well yeah, some elements were meant to follow the sort of the, the sort of post-crisis continuity, and it's just like what I said to one fellow YouTuber, I do have a theory that some of these stories were planned before the new 52 was announced. So it does kind of cause a little bit of continuity errors, and I know the point of Rebirth and all that was meant to fix things up. And this issue mainly has Nightwing in his iconic red uniform. And we do kind of see how, yeah, Dick Grayson as Nightwing is back as being Nightwing after the whole Batman thing. And we see how he goes around patrolling Gotham, and of course, tries to take down his third, basically, killer this week, and of course, takes him down with no problems. And we kind of see how, yeah, after taking down another one, this is Dick Grayson saying, but I'm still standing, I'm still here. And yeah, takes down one of the latest killers. And of course, after sitting down on the rooftop, we see how he looks back at Haley Circus, where, yeah, this is where he used to work with his parents, and after their death due to Tony Suko cutting the wire, Bruce adopted him and became his first Robin. And we see how, yeah, at a bus station near Gotham, we see how an unknown guy shows up to muggers to say that he has to pay the toll. But of course, we see how he takes them down with little to no effort and saying, I always did like this city. And we see how, yeah, Dick Grayson has gotten himself a loft apartment, but points out it's more close where the action is. And we see him pointing out how, yeah, both Bruce and him had different opinions about things, but of course, mainly he still wants to try to get to Haley's Circus. And after seeing everyone there, we see how, yeah, Haley's son Brian talks with one of the guys, Jimmy, about the colour of his clown costume. Of course, showing that this would be a bad idea to make people think of the Joker. And we kind of see how, yeah, both Dick Grayson and Brian meet up again, and turns out that, yeah, he, Brian's father's now retired, and he's now running the show. And we see how, yeah, Dick Grayson meets one of his old friends, Rayla, and of course are now the whole, like, like, Aquabat team. So we kind of see how, yeah, they encourage Dick to kind of get back on the game. <laughs> And we see how that, yeah, Dick Grayson has still got the moves, and is still going to be a circus kid deep down. And we see how, yeah, after getting back one night, we see how, yeah, has to deal with the hired killer. But of course, the police show up to try and stop it, Dick Grayson getting into action. And of course, we see him saying, you tell me what this is about. I only break your little claws and your jaw. So, you're the orphan prince. Has a hero looking after him. My suggesting hero. And we kind of see how, yeah, they both finally do up onto the rooftops, and him saying, you have no idea who you're protecting. And of course, points out that, yeah, Dick Grayson is the, the fiercest killer in North Gotham, and this makes Dick Grayson wonder what he's talking about. And yeah, after breaking a water tower, we see how Dick Grayson looks defeated, but of course we know where the next issue is going to go, him countering the attack, trying to figure things out and that. And this is the story. So I think issue one as a story is okay, but it feels like this was intended to be part of the whole new, the, the, the whole post-crisis continuity, and this did cause a lot of confusion, as well as people wondering if if it was meant to be taking place in the post-crisis continuity, or the whole New 52 continuity. 
And this is where I think, yeah, this did happen after Crisis on Infinite Earths. As some of the stories from Earth 1 happened for a time, but then went into post-Crisis mode. I think the problem is, I think DC can do reboots. I just think they know when, when, to, when to kind of clean the slate and start again. But it does cause confusions when you're wondering what's really going on. And the story itself feels like another run-in-the-mill Batman story. With nothing really interesting, nothing really good. Just another story taking place in a continuity that doesn't need to exist. So I think this one definitely deserves a thumbs in the middle. Well, not great, not good. It just doesn't need to happen. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.